Hey everybody, it's Glenn. Back in this video with WWE Series 6 Kelly Kelly, or as the lady working the Toys R Us checkout said, Oh look, a lady wrestler. She then proceeded to tell me how her son was really into wrestling, but now he's 17, he's grown out of it. Yep, just what you want to hear when, like me, you're a 36-year-old wrestling fan who still collects wrestling action figures. So, I'm not sure how this Series 6 figure is only just showing up now, as it dates back from 2010, so not sure what kind of toy limbo it has been lost in for two years, as it's being sold alongside the current Series 18 figures, which coincidentally also feature Kelly Kelly. I guess the Toys R Us storage warehouse is big enough that in the dark recesses of it exist years old figures. Its age is apparent when you look on the back of the card. Edge was still active and Mattel had yet to learn that figures of Drew McIntyre and Ted DiBiase would never sell. The two figures here are essentially the same, with a different deco. Series 18's hair is a darker, more naturalistic shade, and she comes with knee pads. Which is handy, as the amount of time Kelly Kelly spends on her knees, they probably do get sore. The Series 6 figure in the package is of course adopting the pose she strikes on the turnbuckles prior to her matches. Either that or she's ready to be tied to a bed spread eagled. Kinky. Anywho, let's open Series 6 Kelly Kelly up. Oh Kelly Kelly, so beautiful, yet so boring. I'm sure Kelly Kelly has a legion of fans who will flame up the comments below for me saying that, but hey, I did say she was beautiful, that's a compliment, right? Speaking of her beauty, the figure doesn't really do it justice. Not that it's an ugly face sculpt, just a bit generic lady face looking. I do have the old Jax version of Kelly Kelly here. And in my memory, I did think that the Jax version had a better likeness for Kelly Kelly. But now that I've dug her out, I'm beginning to question that. Because if you look at her face, she has the signature Kelly Kelly smile. And um, the woman should be smiling. She's sustained a career in the WWE for years without ever really having to do anything of any event or consequence. But that's off the matter. Go back to the smile. And she has the most glaring Bugs Bunny-like buck teeth on the Jax version. What's up, Doc? Anyway, do let me know what you think. Which is the best likeness? Mattel's newer version on the left, or the old Jax figure on the right. Unlike the more recent Mattel figures, this Kelly Kelly is from an old enough series that it still comes with the plastic display stand and the card insert bearing her name. These days, if you want these plastic stands, you do have to go to Matty Collect to buy them. They do no longer come with the figures. The details on her costume are nice. They're not sculpted, instead transferred onto the same body Mattel used for all its Divas figures. But the transfer is nice and crisp, from the crystal details on her bikini top to her belt buckle. All very sharp. She features the usual articulation. She rotates at the head as much as her rubberized hair allows. Her shoulders move up and down and rotate 360 degrees. She has an upper arm swivel, single jointed elbow. Her hands rotate 360 degrees. She moves, rotates around at the upper torso beneath her um, boobies. Um, she rotates at the waist. She has a sort of ball jointed hip, makes her legs rotate. She has single jointed knee. She rotates at the top of the boot. Her ankles move back and forth 
and there's a little bit of a side-to-side pivot on them. Speaking of articulation, Kelly Kelly is scheduled to be the first diva in the Elite series, which is a more articulated collector-based series. So I'm curious to see if they improve upon this articulation. As for a basic series figures, the divas are more articulated already than their basic male counterparts. Perhaps they could add an up and down on her wrist. Anyway, that completes my look at Kelly Kelly. Please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.